How are we doing out here? How many deer have we caught? Ah, oh, look at this. Look at the previous season. 360 venison and 10 leather. There are 400 so far this season and 12 leather. That is spectacular. Oh, it's so good to have a hunting watch, isn't it? And two, two fishing docks. Oh, shit, look at that. We have 1,350 food, uh, which is always changing, swapping and changing, because people go uh, to the storage barn and take food uh, for them. For themselves and their families. Uh, let's build another house. Let's. We're just gonna keep building houses. Uh, we're gonna have a steady um, supply of houses being built uh, in and around this area. This is like where everybody lives, um, so that we can sort of get some of these older uh, people out of these houses. Like, look at this. Salvatore is now 23. Ralph is 14. Uh, Ashel is 14, Melisa is 20. All these people are still living with their parents, it's no good. They need to branch out and start their own family so that they can make more babies and we can grow the population of Sipsburg. Uh, that's how it works, so, and the only way to do that is by making houses and stuff. We're gonna have to make a graveyard at some point too. Holy shit, there's a lot to do. Um, we're gonna knock down this pasture. <laughs> Which seems a shame, it costs a lot to build, but actually, we don't really need it right now. Uh, we. We're, we're quite far off getting any livestock because we don't have a, um, a trading dock. And it would actually be kind of cool to have some more houses and maybe, I don't know, like a graveyard or something in here anyway. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to knock down this pasture. We're going to make a, a great big grand Sipsburg graveyard. Uh, so that people can go in there and tell their kids haunted stories, scare the crap out of them, and use that as an excuse to try to steer the kids away from danger in general. Like, when a kid is, you know, playing too close to the river, uh, you can say, well, you shouldn't go too close to the river, uh, because old uh, Gravy, the uh, wandering graveyard zombie, uh, will come and kill you. And of course, you know, if your kid was going out into the forest too far where you couldn't see them, you could say, well, you shouldn't go out too far into the forest because you might stumble across Gravy, the uh, make-believe graveyard zombie, uh, who will then kill you. Because that, as everybody knows, especially if you have kids, that's the best way to prevent a child from doing something. Basically threaten them with a make-believe monster that is potentially going to kill them. Um, and trust me, it does, it does them no harm. I mean, it, it worked for me when I was a kid, and I'm absolutely fine now. Nothing wrong with me. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Uh, it looks like we've had a child named Gemilagros. <laughs> Gemilagros has been born uh, alongside Alonson. That's fantastic fucking name. It's got to be said. Uh, we're going to need some stone. Luckily... There's like an entire remnant of a mountain uh, next to these fields here. We can get a couple of people who are uh, bored at the moment to go out there, pick up some rocks. Holy shit, look at this. I can't believe it. I think this is the first time I've ever built uh, or, or ever played a city building game uh, that requires you to stockpile food where there hasn't just been a massive bout of starvation. Look at this. Holy crap. What a turnaround. We have like nearly 3,000 pieces of food stored in our barn. We're, we might even need to build another barn at this rate. Look at this one. It's filling up. 63% full already. Holy crap. That's pretty nuts. I mean, I think it helps that we have two, two farm fields, two fishing docks, a hunting cabin, and a gatherer's hut. Um, who... How, how many sticks and... Wow, look at this. Look at these fucking guys. Look at the shit that they're picking. <laughs> Berries, mushrooms, onions, and roots. Wow. That is fantastic. Holy shit. Um, Alright. We'll let these guys pick all these rocks up uh, from this, like... I don't know. What, I don't even know what you'd call that. Is it fucking... Uh, it's not a field. It's like sort of like a half field, half forest. But I don't even know what the word for that is. Uh, and we're missing trees. Okay, we need some more logs. God damn it. It'd be great once this forester is all set up, actually. Uh, let's cut down some trees here, too. No, look, it's winter again. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Well, at least everybody's got tools. Uh, there should be enough firewood. And there should be enough food to get us through winter, early winter of year four. However, it's getting quite desperate, actually. We're probably going to need, at some point, uh, to build this tailor uh, so that we can start making some uh, coats out of this leather. I don't know, I guess the coats just, like, deteriorate over time the more you wear them, you know, like, I guess if you're wearing, like, a really crappy leather coat, 
and you're out there like cutting down trees and sweating profusely and stuff, maybe the leather coat just starts to go bad, uh, and then eventually just like rips a lot, tears, and just ends up sort of shedding off of you as you're working, um, because you, your muscles are constantly growing as well from chopping down all those trees. So that might explain why uh, we constantly need to make new coats. And, or maybe it's like a style thing, maybe every year they introduce like some new like flare or something. Put some like intricate lace around the collar of the coats or whatever and everybody's like, Oh, I don't like my coat from last year that had tassels on it and I would like an intricately laced collar leather jacket. So they just throw away their old one, use it as like firewood or whatever and just like get a new coat. I don't know. I mean, you, you tell me. I, I, I only built Sipsburg. I don't actually live in it, so I, I don't know what the hell these people are thinking half the time. Uh, oh, hey, shit, look at this. This house is almost done. Hilber has become an adult and is working as a laborer now. Oh, shit, look out, Sipsburg. As soon as we have a town hall, I'm telling you, that Hilber's gonna be all over it. Alright, Hilber, you can become a builder for now, anyway. Um, has anyone died yet? Oh, man. We have four years of Sipsburg, and not a single death either. That's got to be a new world record, holy shit. Okay, Forster Lodge is almost done. Uh, this house is like kind of almost done, just need some builders. Uh, Hilber and uh, his, his accomplice. I don't know whose accomplice is. Could be somebody like uh, Vestel. It's Vestel. Vestel, the 30-year-old builder, who's... Uh, Amazingly educated. I don't know how that's happened, Vistel. Maybe just like some form of home education or whatever. It has happened, though. Um, beyond anyone's uh, wildest imaginings, uh, Vestel has become educated, which is fantastic. Uh, let's build a graveyard. We're going to build a cemetery once these two buildings are done. Uh, I don't want to split the labor pool too much. Oh, look there. Finally, we now have a forester who's up and running. Hilber uh, is... At a oh, look. We have a new child named Shami Kalin. <laughs> Shami Kalin has been born. What a name. Uh, it, and it wasn't to Paul and Ernie. Paul and Ernie have had Jamilagros, who is now three years old. Fucking believe that. Who's going to move in here? Ah, oh, look, Hilber, at the tender age of ten, has moved in with Melissa. <laughs> uh, Melissa's boy toy, <laughs> Hilber, the ten-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa is some form of cougar at the tender age of 23, uh, and they're going to make sweet, sweet babies named... Oh, I was going to say, holy shit, that didn't take long, but it's not. Feral is not actually Hilber and Melissa's baby. Uh, who does who does Feral belong to? Feral seems to belong to... Um, where are you? Not Slimers. It's Kylar and Isabel. Look at that. Wow. I mean, they're knocking on too. 37, 33 years old, and they've just had another baby, and they currently have an 8-year-old, Amarona, who's about to um, join the uh, join the labor pool as well. Holy fuck. Things are speeding along. All right, let's get this cemetery built. I'm going to get this spooky cemetery built right beside all these houses. It's going to be pretty big, too. Uh, let, let us have it so that the entrance is, like, here-ish. Yeah, there we go. That'll be nice. It's going to be a pretty big one. It's going to it's gonna need 48 stones, uh, but it's going to be able to house a lot of dead dudes uh, with a very commanding view of the Wooden Gate Bridge as well. Oh, man. you got to love a graveyard. Holy shit. I'm building a graveyard because I'm anticipating a couple of deaths because, um, well, the average health of our citizens is uh, massively dropping. Uh, we've only got three Zelda Link hearts uh, out of five now. Uh, we need to bring that back up. I think the next step is going to be to uh, to have the herbalist. Uh, but we need to have some uh, foresters first. Look, our first forester has been commissioned. He's now, or she, making their way out into the forest to start whispering to and tending the trees. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, and in, uh, in no time at all, once the cemetery is built, which, you know, it's almost built, uh, there'll be two more foresters to add to the mix as well. Uh, oh my god. Jamalia. J Jamalia has become an adult. Now working as a laborer. Uh, by that they mean a forester. J Jamalia, always dreamed as a child of becoming a forester, um, would plant little saplings in her backyard and whisper to them, pretending that they were like grand million-year-old oak trees. 
Uh, and now she finally has the opportunity to do the real job for real in her real life. And I think she's going to enjoy it. Look at this. We have room for 55 graves here. So once people start popping their clogs, we've got a storage area for them. The Grand Cemetery of Sipsburg. Uh, look at this. It's fantastic. Holy shit. Uh, okay. We don't need these builders for now. Uh, we do need, however, more foresters so that we can get that steady supply of logs coming in. Holy shit. We've just had a baby boom. <laughs> look at this. There's been three children born in late spring five. Uh, we have Coletta, we have Corny, and we have Prentino. All fantastic names. Uh, and they were all... Oh, Jesus. Uh, Melissa and Hilbert have had Corny together, which, uh, well, <laughs> there's quite a gap there. I mean, Hilbert's only 11 years old, but there you go. Uh, and uh, it looks like... Oh, God, we're never going to find it. The, the more people we get, it's going to be impossible to keep track of who's doing what and where and who they're married to and stuff. It's just going to be some unfolding drama that's going to have to be done automatically without too much intervention from myself. Uh... Okay, fine. Everybody is working here at the Forester Lodge. That's fine. We have a spare laborer who we can make a builder uh, because we're going to have to start building some other stuff. Uh, let us get... Um, before we start building other stuff, let's have let's get some sort of collection of trees or logs. And uh, we're also going to need a bit of stone and iron as well. We might as well earmark some of this stuff to be gathered. Uh, there's some iron here too. Uh, if we run out of iron, we're not going to be able to make more tools. Uh, but thankfully, we have a stockpile of 47 tools at the moment. Which is actually pretty phenomenal stuff. Holy shit, it's got to be said. Ah, oh, it's raining again. God damn. Oh, look, it's cleared up. Just as quick as it came in, it's cleared up. Uh, we have, in Summer 5, a child named Warniston. <laughs> Warniston has been born. And it looks like Amarona, who was born... It seems like two minutes ago has now become an adult and uh, working as a laborer and I'm pretty sure that we made Amarona a builder. We're gonna need more houses. Holy shit, we are definitely gonna need to build some more houses for these people. Uh, once we get a little bit of a stockpile of logs in, it looks like we got a little bit of stone now. Uh, if we can get some people out here to start clearing some of this shit. Yeah, fucking Willip. Look at this. Willip has become... Who the hell is Willip anyway? I mean, I've been managing this town for like five years now. I don't remember anyone named Willip ever being born here or moving in here. What the hell is going on? Damn it. I'm going to lose track so quickly at this rate. It's going to be very sad. Jesus Christ. Oh, man, look at this. Look at Sipsburg. Look at how fantastic it looks. Look, it's really coming together. Look at all the food we have. We have so much food. It's unbelievable. We have tools. We're going to start making some coats before long. Uh, where's a good place that we can actually start making the coats? Maybe, like, down around here or something. That might be nice. Look, we're going to have, like, a little road that sort of comes up here. We could put some more sort of, like, trade buildings in here facing the cemetery. Uh, and that's just so that, like, you know, when the, when the trades place gets an apprentice and the apprentice, you know, gets ideas above his station or whatever, the, uh, the master trades person can just be like, well, you better not do it that way or else... Old Gravy will kill you in your sleep. Because, uh, you know, they're right close to the graveyard. And they can use that tactic to get the apprentices to uh, to do the things that they need to do. I personally, I think that's fantastic. Uh, resource production, then. We want a tailor. Look at this. We're going to have a tailor uh, that we can use to make warm clothes to ward off the effects of winter. Uh, for the low, low price of 32 logs, 48 stone, and 16 iron. Of which we have... Like, basically, none of that. It's okay, though. But we'll eventually get it. Look at how big this tailor place is. Holy crap. Okay, we're going to place it right here, facing the road. Uh, it's going to be quite a big job. Uh, we're going to need uh, more than one builder. We have now have two builders. And hopefully those builders, before they actually start building something or pretending to build something, will come out here and collect some of this shit that I've earmarked for collection, such as the iron and the stones and uh, maybe some of the trees, too. Thanks for watching part 8 of Banished. I hope you're not too scared of Gravy. Don't worry, he doesn't exist. There's no way he's going to come and kill you in your sleep if you do something wrong in real life. It's, it's, it's all just a fantasy. Don't worry about it. See you next time!